Hey everyone, happy belated new year. Um, so yesterday I got the December Smuggler's Bounty Box uh, from Funko. This one is themed uh, Java Skiff uh, from Return of the Jedi. So just here's the box. It's nice and compact. We have the little skiff pattern up here. I like it, it's very cute. The fun thing about this particular box and why I was actually excited, because I was I was kind of thinking, you know, do I want to continue to do this? But then when they announced the theme for this box, I was like, ooh, because of all my Funkos, the one scene that I'm really trying to like expand and build and make it a full scene with all of the characters and all of the pops is, um, the, the stuff with Jabba's Palace from Return of the Jedi, which Return of the Jedi is my favorite movie. So we have, okay. Oh, okay. So this is like a luggage name tag, um, which I really like, but I have the other one that I got from a previous box. I mean, I have more than one luggage, so yeah. But this is Boba Fett, so that's pretty cool. Nice detailing there of him taking off. There we go, so you can write your name and stuff there. That's cool. Oh, cool! So, wow. So they call this a toothpick holder? Sure, okay, but um, I'll be totally honest with you. This looks like a shot glass to me. <laughs> um, but you know what? I, I guess they can't be giving something that also children could possibly buy that is like related to alcohol. So, and also, I mean, Star Wars is inherently originally a kid's thing. So anyway, blah, blah, blah. That's a whole nother conversation. But how cute. Well, I'll be using this as a shot glass. So we have Salacious Crumb. Yes. Love it. And there is a second one here. R2. Oh my God. Yes. We have R2 right there. Yes. All right. Very cool. So. Yeah, okay, Funko. Toothpick holder, sure. Okay. All right, and then we are moving on to the mystery mini, which is Jabba the Hutt. Oh, that's so cute. It's, a, it's ooh, it's a good looking one, too. Ooh, we got the box here. I'll open it up. Okay. And, aha, there we go. Oh, oh, it's cute. I never thought I would use the word cute in the same sentence of Jabba the Hutt, but I am. This is very, yeah, it's a nice little design right here. Good job. Tongue hanging out and all. Coloring is very good. Accurate. Sorry, I'm like moving around a lot, but anyway. And they have like a nice little build of his body. Very accurate, but yeah, so that's good. Okay, cool. All right, and now on to the pops themselves. So watching the documentary, I mean, there's plenty of documentary series in the making of Star Wars, but there's one, um, I think it's in Empire of Dreams, which is like the big one that they did years ago when they first released everything on Blu-ray. Um, and it just basically chronicles you through all of the making of each Star Wars original trilogy film. And it's really good. But bottom line is this guy, at least I'm pretty sure it's this guy, could be actually somebody else now. If I rewatch it, actually, I think it's a different guy. Anyway, the tidbit I was getting at is that one of the men kind of dressed like this that was just supposed to be a guard on the skiff is also the main stunt guy, like the head, like kind of, you know, he's in charge of the department. And to make sure that the Sarlacc pit was safe, he was the first one to go in. Um, they edited it differently so it actually isn't him, but like he said when they filmed it, he was the first one to go down just to make sure the mechanism was safe when you go down there and everything. And it was really funny because he was basically like, it's totally fine. Just make sure you close your mouth and close your eyes and all of it because you will get sand all up in everything, which made complete sense. Anyway, I don't believe it is this character though, but I thought it was. So anyway, long story long, this is, um, so this is one of the skiff guards who is like guarding Luke ominously when Jabba gives the command, put him in. So, which I love that. So very nice detailing on this. I really like it. Very cool. So look at that. And then, ah, oh, this is too cute. Oh my gosh. So this one is Lando in disguise and uh, where he has the mask. So let me just take it out. So there's this, here we go. And I'm gonna take it out. Um, so it's really funny because uh, at least, well, they never, so I will just say at least we're like, okay, where did this mask come from? You never really need to know. But in Solo, they kind of make reference to it just in that 
when they go to Kessel, um, Tobias Beckett is using this mask. So we can just fairly assume that um, Lando has this thing stashed somewhere on the Falcon. So, but yeah, anyway, so I do kind of like to give a little bit of backstory to that. But again, the detailing is great. And Billy Dee Williams, I just have to say, really is just so cool because when they like have Leia come in there under the guise of the bounty hunter and then they, they you know, she makes the deal. They take Chewie away and he follows them out and he kind of slowly pulls the mask down to let you know that it's him. And it's just cool. He's just getting excited because they're like, oh, wait, we're all here. And like, they're all there to rescue Han. And I really love it. So anyway, but this is beautiful detailing. Really love it. Um, yeah, it, it's lovely. It's great. Anyway, so... Um, so that was the December Smuggler's Bounty Box, a uh, theme for Java Skiff. Yeah, it was, this was a nice box. I think the detailing on the pops is good. I enjoyed the mystery mini. Sometimes I think they pick something that's kind of random for the mystery mini, but I really like Java. And yeah, I'm really liking these, uh, toothpick holders. <laughs> I think they're nice too. Anyway, yeah, so that was the box. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And, uh, yeah, I'm gonna give you guys a little peek of my now growing Return of the Jedi scene that I've got going on here and I just I just want to keep adding to it so I'm really excited about it but anyway